Hi everyone, I want to leave a message tonight and it's going to be based on Mark chapter 15 verse 32. But let me um, pray for us. Father, thank you so much for your word and thank you for um, the way that it can convict me of things that I need to look at every day. Um, I pray, Father, to be able to leave a message that will be helpful to people who are listening. And I pray always that if there's anyone who does not know the forgiveness through Jesus Christ, um, that they will know as a result of being spurred on to um, embrace this amazing gift. And it's in the name of the Lord Jesus that I pray. Amen. Hi, this is Pat again. And this is the uh, message. It is based on Mark chapter 15, uh, verse 32. And um, this is how it reads. Um, and let's let me give the background of the verse itself. What was happening in uh, Mark chapter 15 um, it was um, the crucifixion. Jesus had been accused unrighteously um, because of jealousy. He was put on the cross. Um, he was um, had a count. The council of the Jewish leaders had met with him, and they had convinced, or not, they didn't really convince the Romans. It was just that Pilate did not have the backbone um, to allow Jesus to be set free because there was really nothing that they had brought that was true, and he knew it. But in order to keep the peace, he allowed um, them to win, and Jesus died. He, I mean, he was put on the cross right now. He's not quite dead. He's just nailed to the cross. And as he's on the cross, then he's getting mocked. People are mocking him. Some who are passing by. And even the people on the left and right of him who are prisoners or thieves who um, deserve, or I don't know if anyone deserves to die in that way, but they deserved punishment. Uh, but not Jesus. But this is how it reads in Mark um, chapter 15. Um, and this is um, verse 32. It says, Let the Christ, these are the markers speaking, let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also reviled him. I thought about what happens sometimes when people are in a crowd. If they're in a crowd with other people, then they can get a false um, bravado. They think that um, they're brave because they are covered up by a crowd of people. I've seen it happen a lot. People will do things in a crowd that they would definitely not do alone. And so what was happening here is that people had um, gotten riled up because of the religious rulers. They had such a hand over the people. And so they were um, shouting and mocking and even spitting at one point to Jesus Christ. And it's a very, very sad scene I remember as a child feeling so sad um, about Jesus um, because even though I didn't know Jesus as a personal savior for me, I knew his goodness and it was very, very sad to um, think of this good person um, having to put up um, with that. And so I used to get very sad about it. But what I have found is that those people mocked him, but I also mock him. 
when I forget who I am in him and what he has done for me. Every day, I need to remember that I have been saved. And this is a mighty, mighty salvation that he has given to me. He has allowed me to have the Holy Spirit live inside of me. And when I don't use it, when I don't use that power um, to do the work that he calls me to do every day, then I'm mocking him. I am just among the mockers. Um, I'm almost saying, you know, it didn't matter what you did. Um, I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. I'm going to do what I need to do. You know, Jesus left me here for a reason. He left you. If you know Jesus, you're here for a reason. And that is to um, express the excellencies of him who brought us out of darkness. In other words, we are about doing good works. We are about letting people experience the love of Jesus um, and then eventually experience the love of Jesus for them. And they believe it's for them. Because if they don't experience God's love, they're not going to trust him. Um, people are not going to put their full trust in someone that they think is not out for their good. And so we are Christ's ambassadors here to spread that good news over and over again to people who are lost. And so um, we don't want to be counted among those who mock Jesus and what he did for us on the cross. We don't want to do that. And so what I purpose to do every day is to get into the word of God so that I can remember who I am in the Lord. I am a new creation in Christ. The old has gone, the new has come. All this is from God who reconciled me to himself. And he has given me this ministry to bring people to the cross so that they too can be reconciled. But um, let me pray. Father, thank you so much. I pray that this message reaches a heart. I thank you for the many people who went before me and told me about salvation. And I pray that I can touch the hearts of other people to know that um, they want to not only give lip service to salvation, but to believe it, to live it out. Otherwise, if they're not living it out, they also too can be counted among the mockers of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. You have a wonderful rest of your night. God bless you. Bye-bye.